I don't know if starting this video out with this accent could be considered racist or offensive since we're in 2018, but I'm doing it anyway and now calling out his name. Victor. To counter him, pick someone like Brand who can abuse his lack of mobility. Ziggs has range enough to poke him from a long distance without getting hurt, and Sendra can most likely hit all of her spells with ease as well as knock him back if he gets cocky. Zed for his in and out burst, Talon for that exact same reason, and LeBlanc who can root him all the time make other good counters too. Victor's passive grants him an extra item on start and every time he upgrades it, one of his abilities can also be upgraded for an extra evolution stack which changes it slightly. His Q is a point click ability that deals magic damage to an enemy and also shields him in the process. It also also changes his next auto attack to deal bonus magic damage. When upgraded then his shield increases and he also gains bonus movement speed shortly after using it. His W places a trap on the floor that slows enemies walking over it and it will also stun them if they remain there for a short duration. When upgraded enemies get dragged into the center of it as well. His E fires a laser on the ground, much in the same way as you'd place a rumble ultimate that deals magic damage. When upgraded it also explodes after a while to deal damage again to enemies standing on top of it. Finally his ultimate allows him to place a singularity on the field that will follow an enemy champion after it hits it for 6 seconds. When upgraded, it also moves 20% faster. As for spells, he might bring a defensive spell like Teleport, Heal, Barrier or even Cleanse on top of his Flash. You on the other hand might want to consider Ignite since he'll be squishy with no escapes all throughout the game. And finally in terms of power spikes, like most mid laners, mid game is when he can really deal some damage without being too squishy to deal with the enemy team. His level 3 is quite a power boost in the early stages of the game, but his level 6 after stunning you with his W is when he can actually become a threat. Beware of his evolutions by clicking on him and watching his items. And at the time I'm writing this, Iceborne Gauntlet really works with this kit. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, chasing him might be tricky due to his ultimate and gravity field, pay attention to his evolutions by looking at his build, and get the hell out of his E-line since it deals quite a lot of damage. Ultimately, have fun doing it.